If you wish to face your old friends, I'm ready when you are. Good. I'll lead the way. I want you to know, should it come to blows with my old crew, I can handle it myself. Forgiving me is all the work you need to do. There is nothing to forgive. You walked away. They pursued. By axe or by fist, I will do what must be done to protect my clan. <laughs> You're living the life you want, aren't you? Before we're spotted, tell me what I should expect here. Will they attack us on sight? I shouldn't think so. No. Nothing like that. It's not how Wilf operates. Yes, he's a clever one. Rather kind when you meet him. Makes you feel... Yes, he's a clever one. He's rather kind when you meet him. Makes you feel like you're a friend. Family. I met him a decade ago, and he was the first person to truly welcome me. To see some value in me. He told me I had a gift. For intimidation. Persuasion. Violence. Just by the size and strength of me, he knew how to use me. from you now they'll want me back they'll want me to be the man they think i am monstrous and massive wilf and them were the only family i had then but their love was conditional wilf only loves what he owns so what do you intend i know i won't go back i don't want more blood on my hands but apart from that it's hard to say who knows what they have in mind We're stopping. That house, there. They're likely within. It won't look like much, Eivor. But don't be fooled. And don't take Wilf lightly, charming as he seems. The man is a serpent. I've met plenty of charmers who turned out to be snakes. I know, I know. Only a warning. Let's go inside. My boy, as I live and breathe, you got my message. And you brought a friend. Who might you be, Dane? His new leash? I am Eivor. And the woman you robbed was one of my clan. That will not stand. I know, I know. I'm busted up about it. But tell Tekla, was it? Tell her that Arayal is some of the finest we've tasted. I am done with you, Wilf. But we are not done with you, boy. 
We gave you food, shelter, ale to drink, riches galore. We made you who you are. For all you did for him, he repaid you with blood and sweat, did he not? You're a fiery one, I like that. But the ink was dried on this deal well before your number arrived in England. If you wish to clear Tarbin's name, I'm happy to help with that. It's only a small matter of cost. Some weeks back, soldiers confiscated my personal wares, shall we say. Tried to confiscate me as well, but I gave them the slip. If you're keen, you could recover my belongings and return them to me. Do that, and your name is clear. I... I can't. I promised myself I would leave all this behind. But... If it will clear Tarbin's name, we will recover what is yours. Where are these soldiers? Camp not far to the west. A battalion of blouted, brainwashed military men. You can't miss it for the smell. Wait here, then. We will return before you sprout another pair of horns. God go with you, Eivor. This isn't your fight. You don't need to do this. But I am. Now listen. When we reach the camp, leave everything to me. I'll find Wilf's goods and bring them to you. If I'm spotted, it won't be pretty. Many may die. I do not want you involved. You must not break your vow. No vow stands above my duty to my <laughs> friends, Eivor. I could not leave you alone with them should they attack. If it comes to that, stand aside until then. I will. Have my word. Sunan, guide me.
Not off now.
Storm brewing there. I'll return to Tarbin. Is this the sort of work you often did with Wilf and your family of marauders? A quick robbery like this? That was the least of our work. We stole from the poor, killed the helpless, defeated the dimly. We were lower than slugs. I shudder to remember our best days. And I weep for our worst. Let it go, then. Remember only what makes you a better man.
have returned. We have your goods. Beautiful. Beautiful. Put them there. The ledger. Of course. Happy to honor it. My goodness, such a lack of trust these days. It's a dark age, no mistake. That's it, then. We're done? Aye. You are free to walk from this place and live as Tarbin the boring breadmaker for the rest of your days. But you, Eivor, if you ever get tired of the settled life, we could always use a thief with your skills. Think about it. Are you satisfied? Yes. I cannot thank you enough, Eivor. I feared the worst when I heard my old moniker, Gutman. Hadn't heard it in years. Wretches up fearful memories. I imagine. How did you fall in with that bunch? After my mother died, I sought family. Wilf offered it. He looked at me, took me in, and told me who I was. Who I could be. I don't crave that belonging anymore. Among you lot, people accept me as I am. The greatest gift I ever got. Peace. Many men are calm, because they have never known a storm. You weathered the storm, and worked through it. It is a rare thing. Back to one! Kill! Tekla will be upset with me when she learns why she was robbed. 
She's a kind enough woman. She's faced greater danger than a few thieves. I suppose you don't build a clan of warriors without seeing your share of danger? You caught my attention, you know. The moment I first saw you, I knew there was something special about you. You have an empathy. I see it in your eyes, having witnessed its absence in so many. You see a problem and you solve it. For you know it is better to see it done than to let it fester. The curse of leadership, I suppose. A calling can feel like a curse, but you wear yours well. Good to be home again. That is, if I haven't robbed myself of the pleasure of calling it home. Tyrobin, in spite of all, you're welcome here. And yours nothing but the work you love. Right. Payment in fresh loaves of bread. I can manage that. But first, one scrap of your past remains. Right. The ledger. Toss it, and purge the past. With pleasure. <laughs> 